Hey guys, Rocket Lay here once again. What's up, everybody? Oh my god, guys. I just saw the most amazing ad from Burger King that really breaks down why net neutrality being repealed is really, really, really bad. How, you know, freaking the jet pie is all like, oh, don't worry. It's going to be good for everybody. And Burger King's like, uh, no, it's not. I'm going I'm I'm to try to put the in the put it in the in the description box like a link in a you know a link to it if not look it up it's it's like it has 3.2 million views it's like 33 yeah 33 trend, trending on YouTube right now i mean it's it's a big deal because it really explains why net neutrality being repealed is a bad thing you know what i'm saying i was talking over to with my mom and she she even understand like wow this is because my mom didn't understand it, so I showed her the Burger King ad. She's like, oh my god, they're doing this? This is terrible. Yes, this is terrible. It is. I don't understand. And yet, from what I'm hearing, and that there are people, that, and, and, and I'm not hearing, but seeing myself, defending this crap. I don't understand why you're defending this. This is absolutely terrible. Let's, let's say, for example, you wanted to, like, say, for example, open up, like, a retro gaming store... Right, and you want to promote it, you know, you know, you have a, like not only you know, but you have a, like it's only like online, di you know, you have a, it's for digital, like a digital store. Well, you know, so you, you sell, you know, you sell, you know, sixty four SNES, NES games. So we you know Sega Genesis. You get my point. You sell old school retro games online. You try to compete with other people that that do that. But guess what? Because of that neutrality, they those other companies can throttle your internet. So for example, it'll take like five, maybe ten minutes. To get on your, for it to load your 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 uh, page while on your competitors, it's like that, and it is like, well, my you no, know, I'm, I'm, you know, of course you're you're like, well, my my service is slow. I do can I, how, how can I compete? Well, the ISPs are gonna be telling you, well, if you want to compete like the other guys, you gotta pay like three hundred million dollars. I'm pretty sure no one has like, oh, sure, here you go, three hundred million dollars lying around like that. That's not how that shit works, man. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of damn money. You know what I'm saying? Like, so how can you compete against something like that? You don't, and you're going to be taken over, or you can be taken over, or worse, your competitor sees that, like, hey, his stuff is slow, but ours is not. Come on over. It's like, and, uh, and, do, and, and do a douchey thing like that. And they will. They will with any business. And as a consumer, this sucks. Because we have to pay more money on the internet as it is. We paid a good amount as it is. Now they want, hey, we want more money. It's like what the hell, and it, and it, and it can do it for each individual shot site. Like for example, YouTube can be affected by this. You know, let's say for example, like Amazon want to do like a you know you know Twitches. Let's say for example, Amazon want to compete now, and they want to do like a thing like you know compete with YouTube, Amazon themselves, you know the website, and then what they'll do is they'll they'll, they'll throttle YouTube to go slow while there goes fast. So it makes it more appealing. Hey, I know YouTube is slow, but come to us. We're nice and fast. So come on over. You know what I'm saying? It just really explains in how the different price bracket. It just Burger King's is ads is mwah, beautiful. Just beautiful. It really explains why net neutrality getting repealed was terrible, a terrible decision. Which according to like a poll, 83% of Americans didn't want this. I tell you, these greedy corporations, man, there's something else. I know people are gonna say. Right now, I'm sure you're, some people are talking, well, why does this not pay for it in the internet, you know? Go to someone else, you know? Vote with your wallet. Well, that's a good idea. Here's the problem, though. So, like, for example, there's a Burger King that's near, um, that, that I live nearby, um, I live by Universal Studios, I live, like, five, I live, like, I live five minutes away from Universal Studios. And there's a, near there's a Burger King. Like I said, that Burger King sucks. It sucks. I, there's like three different times where they either two of the time, the first two times they forgot to give us all our food, and the last time it was 24 hours. We were like, like we went on twice, you know, want to order some, order something, and we looked inside. I looked at, they looked at us like we're crazy. I'm like, really? When it was only like what one or two in the morning, it's not that late. It's not that un unreasonable, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, and most restaurants will stay up that late. You know what I'm saying? And and, and the Burger King was 24 hours. So, I don't go to that Burger King, go somewhere else, but here, and, but in the case of the internet, however, some people either have two, at most, 
or just one. And they're stuck with it. So that's like you live in a small county, right? And there's only one restaurant and it sucks. What are you going to do? You know, you're going to drive somewhere else? Because other than that, you're stuck eating that. Same thing here. They, unless they move somewhere else, they're stuck with Spectrum, Comcast, or AT&T, or Verizon, or whatever provides internet services. They're stuck with that. You know, that, that's that's the point I'm trying to make here. That's why this is bad. Where they, they're trying to, like, throw, let's say you're up a, let's go back to my whole retro gaming store you're trying to make online, and they're trying to throttle you with net neutrality. They're like, nope, you can't. His websites are those just as fast as your as yours. Sorry, because net neutrality protects you not only as a you know potential competitor that wants to compete against you know Amazon and and, and Walmart and Toys R Us and stuff, but also as a consumer protects you too. So you, that way you just pay the same amount for the internet. Because now you gotta pay for like each, each each individual things like you know if you want this to go fast, you gotta pay this amount. If you want this one to go fast, you gotta pay this amount. And there's different lanes. Each. It's like it's this company's trying to figure out how to get more money out of you, basically in a nutshell. That's what it is. That's why this Burger King ad is again beautiful, and you gotta watch it. Again, I'll try to put it in the description below. If it's not there, go look it up. It's it's beautiful. Show it to your friend. For people that don't understand it, show it to your friends. Show it to your um. You know, your your brothers and sisters, your cousins, spread the word and let people know to save net neutrality. Because it's not over. The fight's still going on. It is not over. It's, it is not over. It's not far from over. And don't give up. Because we can turn this around. But really show this to people so they can see why this is bad and why they need to stand with us and fight to get back net neutrality. Because repealing it was the worst decision ever. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope we see you guys again real soon. Peace out.